Hi guys, today we are going to see about the project fake profile detection on social networking websites using machine learning. So the name itself it is saying that by using machine learning we are going to uh, predict that for, uh, whether the profile is fake or real. So for this one this is a base paper for the project. So it uh, uh, in this project we are going to predict whether the profile is fake or not. So on based on what parameters we are, we are going to predict that uh, the detect the pro profile whether it is fake or real. So means here we have to collect the data set regarding that uh, profiles uh, like uh, we, nowadays we are using all the uh, social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and all. So in those in, uh, social media platforms uh, more uh, for every person uh, some of the faulted persons uh, creating some fake profiles to abuse someone or so to do any unnecessary things in social media. So we have to detect that type of profiles, what are the, what, which, pro, which profile is real and which profile is fake. So for detecting that purpose, we are going to, uh, we are going to use the machine learning techniques. So in machine learning techniques, uh, we are going to use some algorithms to predict whether that profile is fake or real. So in this project, we collected some data set regarding that uh, uh, profiles. Uh, here we are taking the social media platform as Twitter. So here we go, we are detecting the, we, we gather the data set regarding the Twitter data set. So after getting the Twitter data set, we, ha we have to do some processes in machine learning. We have to, uh, uh, compulsory we have to do the process for the machine learning algorithms to, machine learning means we have to train the machine with some uh, previous data. So by using the past data, by training the past data, we are going to predict the future. So that is the main concept in the machine learning. So here we are going to train the machine with some uh, fake profiles and with some real profiles. So after uh, training that one, we are going to give the input. So based on that input and based on the previous data, it, it will detect that uh, uh, profile is fake or real. So that is the project here. So here we use uh, some machine learning algorithms. Actually, we have so many machine learning algorithms like uh, XGBoost, Random Forest Decision Tree, and Adaboost. All the algorithms is there. Here we uh, we use some uh, some algorithms with uh, which is having more accuracy, which is predicting the output with more accuracy. So this is the back end for back back end part for the project. So in this uh, in this project, we are going to collect the data set. So this is the data set. The data set contains that user ID profile pic is there or not, and uh, whether he is uh, he done any abused. Uh, uh, comments or not, how many posts he done and number of how many followers he have like that we are, uh, this is having this is comes under the supervised machine learning so supervised machine learning means which is having the input and output also okay so this is a this is comes under supervised learning so that's why here all already we have that output also so here we are going to train the machine with this uh, with this data set so after training the data set uh, before going to train the data set, we have to pre-process the data. So what is meant by pre-process means we have to uh, do the missing, we have to clear the missing values in the data set and we have to do the data wrangling and we have to do the encoding and all the process I have to do. So why why we have we have to do the all these process means machine is a uh, binary language machine can understand only binary language. So we have to convert the entire textual data and entire numerical data into some numerical data like uh, binary language. So we don't know the by bi binary language. So that's why here we are using the Python language. But so by using the Python code, we are writing the code for the pre-processing pre and all, all the texts. So after going to do the pre-processing steps, we are giving that uh, giving the uh, models to giving the data set to the models. So here these are the models here. So first algorithm is KNN algorithm. So in the KNN algorithm, we trained the we are going we trained the data in the KNN algorithm. After training that one, we are going to predict the data set. So here, this is the predicted result. So how we know whether that prediction is good or not? How we do, how would we know? Means we are here. We are one, we have one metric. So that is the accuracy. So here we check the accuracy here. So this is the accuracy point for testing data. It get 89 percentage of the accuracy. So 80, 89 percent accuracy means we are going to tell the result with 80 percent 89 percent accuracy. So that that is the accuracy. Accuracy means how much nearer we are going to give the we are saying that this is the correct so that is the metric so with 89 percent accuracy i am going to tell this profile is fake or this profile is real like that so uh, another uh, another algorithm also i used here so that is the logistic regression so by you whenever i use knn algorithm it gives the 89 percent accuracy but whenever i use the logistic algorithm it is it gives 92 percent accuracy so it gives more accuracy than the knn like that we are going to apply all the algorithms and uh, we are going to, to see the uh, results uh, like, i mean accuracies so after seeing the results which which algorithm <coughs> 
which algorithm having the most accuracy means so we are going to take that accuracy so here i applied four algorithms so, so random forest xg boost and knn and logistic algorithm so these are the algorithms and this is the algorithm results so here uh, whenever i checked the result here test accuracy is one one means 100 percent accuracy so with 100 percent accuracy i can say this is the fake profile or real profile so this is the back end part for the pro project so after back end part of the project we can see the front end how it will work if a non technical person knows uh, how to uh, he has to check that profile is result real or not real or fake so for that one we developed one front end part so this is the front end part for the project so in this front end part we are uh, we created one index page in that page he, it is asking like name and password so by personal for personal use we have to create some name and password here so by uh, entering the name and password we have to click on the login button so after clicking the login button it is he here it is giving the two options algorithm options so in which uh, in which algorithm you have to predict like xgboost or random forest likewise your wish for xgboost it is having 100% accuracy for random forest it is having like 92% or something accuracy so by clicking on any one of the algorithm we click uh, we, here it is asking row number so what is this row number means we here in a in separate excel sheet we create the uh, we save all the data in the excel sheet so that excel sheet row number is the here the row number so this is the row number if we say i if uh, suppose i click on 23 23 is the row number for that project so by whenever i click the row number 23 so in that row what particulars like face profile is there or not profile pic is there or not so like the details automatically play, it will implement it to that project so after uh, click on predict button so it is showing that it is real so from the given inputs the profile is real so it, this is the predicted result so if we say any other number like for suppose 56 so after clicking the predict button see here it is showing that from the given inputs uh, the profile is fake so that is uh, that 56 row, particular 56 row, row has the fake profile details and particular 23 details has a real uh, real that is the real uh, profile so like that we are going to predict by using the machine learning algorithms here we can use more machine learning algorithms for which algorithm we get the best accuracy means that algorithm we have to uh, implement so this is the front end part for that project